Makes a lot of sense. And I want to tell the audience that uh, in a moment, just about two or three minutes, we are going to head into that Q&A room. So the four of us have a link that we'll pop into and we'll have time to answer a couple of questions. But I want to end the panel with Katie. You know, I guess I'd ask you if there are people out there who have heard about this, watched the hype, they've considered checking it out, but maybe the crypto aspect has turned them off. Although, as you mentioned, I think you guys have been smart about not emphasizing that. And of course, you can buy a top shot with US dollars. You don't have to use crypto. But I'd ask you, Katie, what you think are the biggest kind of misconceptions right now about Top Shot? Anything you want to tell people or dispel? Well, first, I just want to say that I love the joy that Roz brings to this because the community part is the part that makes me the most happy as well. So I'm glad that I'm glad that's really coming to fruition and people are making connections. Um, and I'm also excited that um, NBA Top Shot can be a gateway to decentralized things. Um, and, you know, our company... Uh, mission is to bring blockchain to mainstream consumers because we think that the promise of blockchain, of you know, uh, of self sovereignty, of you know, some of the really early things the blockchain community has been talking about for a long time, um, are powerful. But it's really hard to get into without that thing that you care about. And so I think when people look and see NBA Top Shot and see a huge purchase or see something that they're like, oh, this isn't for me, I'd say go check it out. Go register, like register for, you know, get in the queue for a pack drop, check out the streams that are going on while the packs are dropping because they share a ton of information and a lot of it is meant for new participants. Um, you know, join those group chats, join those clubhouses, because there are so many interesting perspectives on it. Um, Roz and I did a kind of like hangout with a bunch of women from the Top Shot ecosystem and such different investment theses. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, and it was it was really great to hear people who had never come to this sport before and were excited about just the framework of what Top Shot is doing, um, but also to see people who came in and really just started experimenting and then then got super into it. Um, and I would echo what Roz said that some stuff is gonna fall by the wayside. We don't consider it a bubble, but we do think that there are always gonna be market corrections in new markets. And so um, just to be you know thoughtful um, about the way you're collecting, if you start coming into an ecosystem as a collector and collecting things that you really love, then you can't lose basically um, because you have that intrinsic value to it. But I would say just get started, give it a try, go poke around. Um, there's lots of entry points that are not super expensive that will just get you involved. And I think it's hard to stop once you're involved.